You will also need flux, metal straps, a strap wrench, a plug and cap, sandpaper, a towel, a thermometer, and a plastic tumbler. Find and shut off the hot slash cold water supply. It may be near the water meter or behind an access panel. If you are replacing an existing unit, remove the old unit. Measure and locate the stringer. It should be located 2 and 3 quarters plus or minus 3 eighths inches from the front surface of the finished wall. If a thin wall like a shower surround is used, be sure to have the plaster guard behind the wall. Otherwise the wall should always be flush mounted with the plaster guard. Remove the plaster guard cover and mount the valve body to the stringer using, 2, number 10 by 1 inch screws, not included. Insert the screws into the mounting holes on the valve body as shown. Note, make sure the word up is on top of the valve body when installing. Remove the bonnet nut. If soldering pipes, remove the plaster guard for this step and reinstall it when done soldering. Connect the valve body to the water supplies using the proper fittings for your plumbing type, copper tubing, iron pipe, or PEX. Note, the hot water supply is on the left and the cold water supply is on the right. If you have two shower fixtures that are mounted back-to-back -back on a common wall, reference the back-to-back -back installation. Rotate the cartridge 180 degrees so that the H on the cartridge faces the hot inlet side of the valve. Connect the shower top outlet to the shower pipe with the proper fittings. Connect the bottom outlet of the valve body to the tub spout pipe with the proper fittings. The connecting pipe must be a minimum of 1 half inch copper or iron in a straight drop no less than 8 inches but no more than 18 inches long. There should be only one 90 degree elbow. Do not use PEX tubing for the tub spout drop. Note, if either of the two outlet ports is to be unused, then seal the port with a plug or cap, not included. Flush the system by slowly turning on the water supply to purge the valve body of debris. When finished flushing the system, shut off the water supply. If this is not a thin wall mounting, the entire plaster guard may be removed. Rotate the cartridge so the words hot side appear on the left. Insert the cartridge into the valve body as shown. Make sure the cartridge tubes and O-rings are properly seated into the holes at the base of the valve body. Ensure the keys on the cartridge are fully engaged with the slots in the valve body. Slide the bonnet nut over the cartridge and thread it onto the valve body. Hand tighten securely. Plug both the shower and the tub spout outlets with the proper fittings. Turn the cartridge stem counterclockwise until it will no longer rotate. Turn on the water supply making sure both the hot and cold water supplies are open. Check for leaks in the areas indicated with an arrow. After checking for leaks, turn the cartridge stem clockwise as far as it will go and remove the outlet plugs. If you are tiling or installing a wall set, reinstall the plaster guard cover. Connect the top outlet to the shower arm. To prevent damage on the shower arm finish, insert the shower arm into the flange as shown. Apply plumber's tape to both ends and screw the shower arm into the top outlet. Attach the shower head to the shower arm. Note, do not over tighten the shower head. Remove the adapter from the tub spout. The following steps will assist you with installing the tub spout on either a copper pipe or an iron pipe. Identify the tub spout connection pipe material as copper or iron. Attention, these steps are for a copper pipe installation only. The iron pipe installation will be shown later. The copper pipe must extend between 2 and 3 and a half inches from the finished wall. Remove the o-ring from the adapter. Prepare the adapter and copper pipe for soldering. 
slip the adapter onto the copper pipe spaced 1 fourth to 1 inch from the finished wall to the back of the adapter. Solder the adapter to the pipe, keeping solder away from the outside of the adapter and o-ring groove. Let the adapter cool. Cut off the end of the pipe if extending beyond the adapter. Make sure the o-ring groove is clean and reinstall the o-ring. Thread the tub spout onto the adapter. Hand tighten until the tub spout is firmly against the finished wall and all slack is taken up behind the wall. Attention, these steps are for an iron pipe installation only. The iron pipe must extend from the finished wall between 1 half to 1 and 1 fourth inch. Apply plumber's tape to the pipe nipple threads and screw on the adapter. Take care not to damage the o-ring or o-ring groove. The back of the adapter must not be more than 1 inch from the finished wall surface. Thread the tub spout onto the adapter. Hand tighten until the tub spout is firmly against the finished wall and all slack is taken up behind the wall. Place the handle on the cartridge stem. Rotate the handle counterclockwise through cold water until the handle is all the way counterclockwise. Place a thermometer in a plastic tumbler under running water at the tub spout. If the temperature of the water is not to your preference in the full-on hot position, you may need to adjust your rotational limit stop. If you need to make the water colder, between 90 and 110 degrees, pull the white rotational limit stop out and rotate clockwise. Note, temperature change per notch could be between 4 to 16 degrees. If you need to make the water hotter, between 90 to 110 degrees, pull the white rotational limit stop out and rotate counterclockwise. Note, temperature change per notch could be between 4 to 16 degrees. Slide the o-ring over and behind the bonnet nut on the valve body. If your model requires a spacer, insert it into the trim sleeve and push it to the front. Slide the sleeve over the cartridge, valve body, and o-ring. Note, if there is a gap between the sleeve and the handle, then the spacer should be used. Attach the escutcheon to the valve body using the, two, escutcheon screws provided. Do not over tighten. Install the handle onto the cartridge stem and secure the set screw with an Allen wrench. Congratulations, this completes the installation of the Delta Everly tub and shower faucet.